And now, it's time for the Roadshow Feedback Booth. Between bottles and blue bonnets, we were hoping to retire early. See you at work Monday, boys. We found out that on these things that we've been keeping in a nice place for about 20 years, I asked the gentleman what it was worth. He said it was worth nothing. And so I told him I had two of them. So I, we took so the both, other one. He said they're still worth it's nothing. They're still worth nothing. We came all the way to Antiques Roadshow with this typewriter. The last words we expected to hear were, it's got a steampunk patina. It's been in my grandmother's house since I was a little bitty girl, and I've always wanted to play with it, and she wouldn't let me. And I found out today at the Antiques Roadshow that it's worth about $10. <laughs> I brought my Les Paul Jr. My parents bought it for me in 1954, and I found out that it's worth a lot more than I ever made playing in a band. My husband thought this ought to go in the dumpster, but I wanted to rescue it. And I found out that it's worth $500 to $600 in a shop. It's his grandmother's antique wedding dress from 1905. I'm glad I saved it. And I'm in the doghouse. And today I came to Antiques Roadshow for my 10th birthday. And I found out that my signed first edition copy of Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 is worth $100 to $200. Uh, do 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 I'm Mark Wahlberg. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Antiques Roadshow. Hey everybody, how we doing? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Where'd you get that? Auction. Oh yeah?